Hey folks, I want to talk about a brand new bag I got. Not really new to the industry, but it's new to me. And that's the bag on the left. That's the Think Tank International Security version 2.0. You see it right next to the one that I've already done a video on. And that's the Think Tank Airport. And it's just, uh, these are great bags. Uh, they save my back, they take my gear, and they protect it. I don't know how many miles I have on the bag on the right, the big think tank, which I use primary uh, for most everything. It's got to be coming up on at least 50,000, 60,000 miles, and it just keeps going. As you can see, it looks great. Well, you might be saying, why did you get the smaller bag? Well, I have to carry less weight uh, in every way you can think of. But mainly, uh, I'm doing a bunch of aviation work, and weight is very critical. So I got the small bag, so I take some less gear. You saw the video on the big thing tank and how much I packed in there. That adds up the weight. So I figured if I got the smaller bag, I couldn't take as much, and it wouldn't weigh as much. So let's just take a look at what's inside. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Well, folks, uh, I just can't extol upon the virtues of this bag enough. It's just marvelous. It has the same basic features as the big bag as far as locking the zippers, all the locks in the back. You can refer to the other videos for that information. Uh, it rocks. The inside pocket still does a great job. And of course, it comes with the obligatory, my favorite part, the socially, politically correct how to pack your bag insert, which I just think is hilarious. Now, if you notice, their suggestion is, well, a little tame by my standards. A couple bodies, lenses. I actually, uh, I know, I got a smaller bag, so I would carry less and have less weight. Well, let's just see how well I did. Ye gads. There's a lot of stuff in there. All right. D3X, D3X. Pretty simple. Straightforward. SB900. What I did is took one of the dividers, and they're very generous in the dividers, and I put inside the compartment here. Spare AA batteries, SC27 cord, dome for the SP900, and my backup drive for my images from the notebook. That's in that compartment there. This compartment here has the 16, and down in there the TC17E2. Important stuff I need. I have the 1424 in this compartment here. Here I have the 7200. One thing I want you to notice is that I don't have the foot on here. The way that I'm packing it, I found the foot's just a little bit too much, and since I don't need it with my aviation work, I just left it at home. Because down below in here, there is the 24120 and the Cool Picks. They're both in that compartment, so those work in there very well. In this compartment here, I have the 200 or 400. I've got my Olympus recorder for my interviews, and of course, baseball cap to keep my, hat, my head from getting hot. So it's kind of a basic strip down. Um, did I actually lose some weight here? I actually did. I actually shed, believe it or not, about 12 pounds of weight with the less amount of gear. But, you know, the, what I've got here is my basic. It's very basic. You could actually maybe do this for, uh, be enough here for doing landscape work as well. would not be suitable for wildlife, but uh, I don't use it for that anyway. But, again, just a couple of bodies, 200, 400, 7200, no foot. 24, 120 below, 1424. So all in here are zooms, except for the 16 fisheye, the only prime I've got. Flash batteries and cords. In the flap, I've got flash cards. I've got plate, extra cards, and battery for the cool picks, extra cards for the DSLR bodies. So this is the Think Tank Airport International version 2.0. So it fits in the overhead uh, and uh, for the international. If they go and pick it up and try to weigh it, I could be in trouble. Otherwise, this bag, I think, rocks. It just takes it all and uh, keeps on going. 